Yes, well, first, I think it can be bewildering to people um, in the States as well, and even to people who are in the industry and you know, trying to deal with the various um, agencies, both prosecutorial and regulatory. But um, I mean, ultimately, the, the clearest division is between criminal prosecutors and civil regulators. In New York, there are five prosecutor's offices, local prosecutor's offices, and then there's the federal prosecutors as well. Um, in Manhattan, um, there is the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which is where I used to work. Um, and jurisdiction comes from literally the location, the physical location of the office. So the district attorney's office um, is responsible for prosecuting crimes that in some way touch Manhattan. Um, jurisdiction can sit in many different places, of course, so that's why, uh, that's one reason why you can have um, different agencies involved in the same, uh, investigating or looking into the same activity. Um, in terms of the regulators, Obviously, they are not investigating criminal activity, but um, regulatory violations. And there, again, is state and federal regulators in New York. Um, there's the Department of Financial Services, which um, is responsible at the state level for examining New York state licensed financial institutions. Um, there's also the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, which is a federal institution which should have very similar um, advisory role as the DFS. And um, where one comes in and the other doesn't, uh, sometimes is baffling even to those involved. Um, but I think the clearest distinction certainly is between civil and criminal, which has very different um, sets of laws that are followed and also um, different goals.